Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and to this whole new project which is going to be a conversion to RC of the North American P51B Mustang designed by Harold J. Towner going down those models, like trying to do as many as I can of those um, this one, I'm going to just do the plan review now uh, because it's going to be a complicated one I just wanted to do a, a single engine, I've done a couple of Spitfires uh, probably also do a Spitfire, the Spitfire from Tauna. I wanted to do an American model now, in honor of our American friends. And uh, I picked this P51B, which I think is a little bit unusual. I think normally we have C's and D's, so this is kind of an earlier model. And uh, if you go to the plans, you can find the plans on AutoZone, that's where I got it. You can actually see that it's clearly a rubber powered model. There we have then the hook for the rubber powered. But not only in that, we can see also, if you look at the rib structure, this calls attention, the ribs are fantastically well designed to be very very light, probably can't use too much glue, but not only the rib design, but also the fuselage formers, here they are, also designed to be as lightweight as possible, light but also, I'm afraid, fragile, so, and here's the tail, or the, the elevator, the stabilizer, and then here is also then the, the rudder and the fin. So, but what I want to do, I want to do an RC conversion, and for that I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to need quite some strength pretty much all across the model. It's going to be significantly heavier. Here it does say somewhere that uh, it should not exceed 6 ounces, including 1 ounce of the rubber motor, so you can see it there. Not sure how much that is. The hundred grams? I'm not sure actually. I, I can't think in ounces. Um, but I'm going to have to do quite a few changes. One of the things I want to do with this, I want to do a retractable undercarriage, probably just the main gear. I don't think I managed to do the tail wheel, but I want to do a, a retractable undercarriage. I've seen some nice videos of uh, of maybe how to do it. So to put in another channel and. Uh, and try to try to do a retractable undercarriage. I'll probably start with that kind of early on because it's what I'm thinking about for quite some time. Um, we can see here, I don't know if you can see it, but this is then the dihedral. Being a rubber powered and a free flight model, the dihedral I believe is exaggerated significantly. Like on the P47, as I want to do an RC conversion, I'll probably try to dial this down slightly. I'm not sure how much, maybe half it or something, but uh, but I have to think it, I have to think about that actually, also quite early on, as I do need the main spar. As you can see, the main spar is actually made up of a top spar and a lower spar, again to save weight, and then to put the ribs through. Um, I'll probably change that, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go through with a, with a solid spar, a center section maybe reinforced with ply, and then also on the other side, of course, then the, a, a solid spar because especially if I want to put on the undercarriage and all the motor and battery and things like that so it's going to be quite heavy I've already got some kind of electronics selected I hope I do well this is the motor, the green motor that I got from Ray so thank you Ray once again and this is what I would like to use I've got an, an ESC which is a 30 amp probably too strong and too heavy but I think I took it out of another model but I saved like two or three grams or not very much and then I've got the receiver here with which I battle always to, to pair them up um, and then of course a battery will come in probably a 2S because that's all I have so try not to buy too many things I need to buy Weezer so actually the, the first plan or the first steps that I want to do is going to be to trace out the the wing spar, I'm going to do one and then double that one to do, uh, to do the other one. Also do maybe the reinforcements, somehow bring it together without maybe gluing. Because I'm not sure if I can build the wing and maybe then th thread it through the fuselage. Maybe I can, because it is a low wing, it's not in the middle of the fuselage exactly. So if I don't put in the, the lower stringers, that might work. Um, and then work on the undercarriage, as I say, with some some rods, I have to buy some rods and then for the formers, the fuselage formers for sure the ones at the front I'm going to have to redesign because that's probably where I put the battery hatch or the whole hatch will probably be these two these two sections I'm kind of guessing the motor could go somewhere here the prop spin is also going to be an issue 
squeezing the ESC here and the receiver and the battery. I think it should fit. Like if the Merlin fits, well, this should also fit, right? Uh, but then also for the other formers, I'm going to have to redesign them. Keep, of course, the outside shape, keep them hollow, but to reinforce them. The structure on this one is a little bit different from the other Towner models. On most of the Towner models I've done up, up to now, like the Wellington and the I think the P47 and the Mosquito, uh, it was built on basic strainers upwards, then taking off the plank and then the lower part. This is a little bit different. The basic stringers, they go along the side and this is actually the profile that we see here. There, let's see if I pointed it with something with just my finger. So those are the stringers actually. So it's a very, very lightweight model um, designed for rubber power, of course, um, but that's going to bring a lot of complications. So uh, in, in overall, a big challenge I'm putting also more challenges than maybe I can I always bite off more than I can chew as one likes to say uh, but on the other hand that's how we learn and uh, that's how we actually enjoy the time also um, I am afraid that I it will not fly or it will take years for me to get to flight as I still have you may point you up I still have there well that's the gladiator I still have the Wellington to fly around I have the Antonov in another room I still have the the yellow Piper Cup that hasn't flown yet, really, just taxied. And I do have the Hurricane that also got from, from Ray. So quite a lot of homework to do in the flying front. Oh, I've got also the little flyer there. But that has flown, so that's at least something. Um, so I've got a lot of homework on the, on the flying front, but um, can't stop building, right? So in any case, uh, a new challenge. I'm looking forward to your comments, your recommendations. And of course, I'll keep you updated as I go along and... Uh, Let's learn on this together. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.